I'm Casey Waldron of Pony Stampede here with SMU quarterback Matt Davis. This has been a big week on the Hilltop with the appointment of new head coach Chad Mars. Can you share with us a little bit about your first meeting with him? What was that experience like and what did you take from that? Um, it was a good meeting. Um, I think one of the first things you noticed about him when you walked in the room, the first thing he said is everybody sitting in the chair. So that was pretty cool to know that you know he's a coach and that he's about winning, he's about his business. And he talked to us and uh, he was really, uh, really adamant about what he wanted to do. You know, very uh, intense, very exciting. So I mean, it, it was good to see that you know that, that the coach is going to be taking over. Um, he's really just uh, he's about winning. He's a fiery guy. Um, and you know that he knows what he's talking about, and uh, he's had success everywhere he went. So I mean, that's pretty exciting. Last week you had 20 carries for 70 yards, 145 passing yards, and a beautiful 67-yard touchdown pass to Jeremiah Gaines. Overall, how do you feel about that performance, and what do you want to continue building and working upon for this week's game against UConn? Um, I wasn't, uh, I, I was, I wasn't too pleased uh, uh, with my performance. I felt like I, I felt like I missed some plays, I uh, missed some reads, missed some throws as well. You know, I didn't, didn't get the ball to my teammates as, as much as I could. Um, so you know, I, I take it upon myself. But you know, I think we just need to continue to get better. Um, just need to put my teammates in, in, in a better position and try, try to get some things going on our offense, uh, whether it's for myself or uh, just motivating our, our teammates to, you know, to make plays and do things. But uh, I think we just, as a whole, we just need to be better. Jeremiah Gates and Dion had a really great game. Uh, how, who else have you kind of seen emerge from the wide receiver core as new leaders? Because it's a really bright spot breakout performance. Oh, yeah, both of them. I mean, they're, they're great players. I always knew that uh, that uh, Jeremiah and Dion had, had a lot of potential, had a lot of, had a lot of things. So they just need to get an opportunity down the field, and really get, get the ball in their hands. And you've seen with, the, uh, with Dion for the past, I want to say four games, that he's really just been, uh, you know, balling. I mean, to say the least. And just you give him the ball, he's gonna make some people miss. He's gonna do some things. Uh, and so, and then Jeremiah, he's a big, strong, fast receiver. I think I don't think people believe he's that fast until he took off. You know, that's 235 pounds. So, uh, I mean, those guys are, are, are really, really good. And, you know, we got some good young guys that's coming up. So. Uh, we're, we're, we're pretty good in the receiver spot. We just got to keep on getting better. What have you seen so far on film from UConn? Anything different from the other teams that you've faced so far? And what's the game plan going into this? Um, I think we just need, to, you know, I say it every week, but we just need to play our football. We need to execute our execute our game plan. You know, uh, we haven't executed our game plan um, as well as we should have uh, any game this year. But uh, from UConn, um, you know, they're, they're a big defense. They're physical. Uh, they play hard. Um, and, 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 and like I said. They're, they're, Got some big guys, so they're gonna try to bully you around, try to hit you pretty hard, and things like that. So we just need to use our speed to our advantage and, uh, and, just, and just try to make some explosive plays, like that, like that play we had on Saturday, uh, Friday. Obviously, the team wants to go out with a win this year, and this is the last chance to uh -huh. do so. Do you think that all the excitement with Coach Morris and pos will positively affect going into this oh, game? Yeah. And what has the team talked about, or the coaches said to the guys, really to get in there and capture that victory? Um, I think. Uh, you know, I, I think we're all ready for Coach Morris, but I know, you know, right now we're focused on Coach Mason because Coach Mason is our coach. And I think we're mostly focused on just, you know, Coach Mason and these coaches, they stuck around and uh, when, when they didn't have to. And, and, they, and they've coached, uh, coached this as well as they can, and, and, and they've, you know, they've done the best job in, in here in a situation that, that wasn't um, wasn't the best. Um, so I think for most of all, we want to do this for those guys. We want to give them something to go out on um, for a good note because, like I said, they didn't have to do what they did, and uh, especially with the attitude they had. Uh, to really try to strive to make us better and um, help us out as much as we can. And then with these seniors, you know, we have a group of seniors, about 14, 15 guys that uh, we really want to send them out the right way. So, it's, you know, it's, it's, most, it's, it's not about ourselves anymore. It's about the, uh, these coaches, Coach Mason, those guys, and as well as the seniors. So I think we're really motivated for that. As you said, they stuck around when they didn't have to. It's not been the most ideal season. Exactly. But what have you learned from it? What will you take from this season that will help you in your future? Um, I think it's just, you know, you have to take everything in perspective. You have to understand that uh, I've always won. I think you learn more when you lose uh, about yourself, about your teammates, uh, about your character, and things like that. Just, it's not about you know you're getting knocked down every week. Every week. So how are you going to uh, regroup? How are you going to respond? You know, and, uh, are you going to are you going to be resilient or not? And I think it's really gave us uh, some more confidence. I think it's given uh, given us. You know, I think for a lot of people, it would have knocked our confidence down. It would have would have broken them down. But I think for us, we're, we're learning how to be strong, and uh, this is going to give us a lot of motivation going into offseason. So I, I'm, I'm I'm really excited for that. But we have, we have a game that we need to go win uh, for for the coaches and for those seniors. So uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident. Okay. Thanks so much. Good luck. Thank you.